All right, so we're back in my master bedroom. I've been working a little bit more on this space. I've got some more stuff to show you guys today. If you're new to the channel, my name's Melanie. I'm the owner of Lost and Found, and I'm super glad that you're here at my channel today. So it's the start of 2023 and I've got a bunch of projects that I'm working on. I'm trying to take you guys along with me, for one, with um, the decorating projects that I'm doing here around my house. So I've been working on my master bedroom and I have a video that I filmed a couple months ago. I'll link it up here and it'll also be in the video description to share with you the progress that we've made so far. And then in today's video, I want to show you guys how I made over my master bedroom dresser. It's kind of the next big thing that I needed to do for this space. I loved my dresser. The size of it was great. Um, the function of it was great. It was meeting my needs. It just was really, really, really dark. I didn't want to go out and hunt for a replacement dresser. So I decided just to take the one that I had and I was going to make it look how I wanted it to look and make it fit in more with this space. And I love how it turned out. So let's dive into the makeover. If you guys have questions, please feel free to ask in the comments. Hopefully I'll try and share as much as I can as I show you the steps of the makeover and then we'll see how it looks all together in the room. So we're going to get started just taking the dresser apart. I had to take the mirror off. I am going to reuse the mirror. And then that little set of three drawers, I use those all the time, but I don't want to put them back on. So I'll show you where I find a place for them later in the video. And something that I really enjoy about working with Fusion Mineral Paint is that it has no odor, so you can use it inside. So I just put a drop cloth down under the dresser and went to work right here in the bedroom. All right, as usual, like this is completely spur of the moment. <laughs> I do that with projects. I wasn't planning on doing this today and I just decided that this is what I really felt like working on. So um, I've got the dresser mostly empty. You guys can see all the stuff is there on my bed. And my goal today is to get it prepped and I'm going to get one to two coats of primer on it. If I can get that done today, then I'll feel really proud of myself. Sometimes with projects, you know, it's just the getting started. Like I've been needing to do this for forever and I just haven't gotten started. So today we're gonna get started. We're gonna press on and um, I better cause I've got to put all this stuff back up or I'm not gonna be able to sleep in my bed. I did take all the hardware off and just a little pro tip as you're storing your hardware, put the screws back inside each piece. That helps you not lose all those little pieces. All right, so there is officially everything off of this dresser. Um, I did go back and take off the hinges on the doors and I don't love taking the hinges off because in my experience, they are always hard to put back on and sometimes you can't get them quite right. But um, these were gonna be hard to paint around. They covered a good bit of the wood. I will tell you, I did not take off this. I don't even know the official name of this. I never ever take these off because I can never get them back on where they meet with the other piece that holds the door closed properly. So that's just gonna stay on there and we're gonna paint around it. Here's my materials. I'm gonna be starting with the Fusion Odorless Solvent. The reason I'm using this first is because I know that I have put pledge on this dresser multiple times over the past 10 years. And this will help break down that oily, waxy substance in the pledge. So I'm gonna use this first and then I'm gonna use my TSP alternative that will clean off the pledge residue and this. Then I am going to apply a base coat, probably two, of just some Kilts water-based primer. Um, that's really for not for any adhesion problems, but because I'm painting this a light color and this is so dark, I just want to save a little bit of my Fusion paint. And then uh, Chateau, Fusion Mineral Paint Chateau. That's the color that we're going to use. I am using my big round Stallmeister brush. This is my go-to brush. I will link it in the video description. I think it's finally time that I can get cleaning and hopefully get a coat of primer on this before it's time to take a lunch break. So when I'm working with the Fusion Odorless Solvent, I do wear gloves, but it is truly odorless. So again, it's a product that you can use inside, which is really nice. And then the TSP alternative, I don't worry about wearing gloves with that. That is a really mild biodegradable cleaner. It's another reason why I like using it. It's not harsh. 
So we're just gonna work through the process of finishing up the cleaning of this dresser. And once it was all nice and clean, I did give it a quick scuff sanding with some 180 grit sandpaper. And then it's ready to go. Does anybody else have this feeling when you're done with your prep work? That's how I feel when I get done. Okay, primer's dry. I just have one coat on, see it there? It looks terrible, it always looks that way. I was gonna do two coats, but to be honest, I'm feeling antsy and I'm ready to get going. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna jump in with the paint. Um, this is sticking fine. I'm not seeing any pink, any bleeding. I've done my scratch test where you lightly scratch it. Nothing's coming off. So let's go ahead and get our first coat of the Chateau on here. So this lighting I know kind of makes this color look like it's a cream, but it's really not. It's a really pretty gray toned off white. I didn't want a bright white on this dresser. I wanted something a little more aged and this color turned out perfectly. So I did stick with using my brush rather than a roller. Nine times out of 10, I paint furniture with a brush. For me, that's just easier and it's less to clean up and I really, really do love that large Stallmeister brush that I'm using. All right, one coat down. Uh, it's definitely gonna take two, but I think after the second one, um, it'll probably be good to go. So I'm gonna let the primer coat and this coat dry really well. We're going to let it dry all night. I'm not going to mess with it again tonight. I'm not going to rush it. We're going to finish it tomorrow. But I do want to show you guys, if you've ever wondered just how far a jar of Fusion Mineral Paint goes. So you see how big of a piece this is, all the drawers and the doors. And I want to show you how much of my jar it's used. Can you, can you tell? So it's about, um, maybe to about where the label is. I don't know if you can see it in there. About, you know, maybe right here of my jar for that one coat. So this is for sure gonna be enough to get it done. Plus more, um, probably could paint another, you know, chair, nightstand, something with it. Just wanted to share that with you guys because I get asked that a lot. How far does this really go? I hope that gives you an idea. Okay, back, time for the second coat. So I was really happy with the second coat, with the coverage that I got. And once the second coat was completely dry, I did decide to add a top coat of the Fusion Matte Tough Coat just to the very top of the dresser. And I'm sorry, I didn't grab any video footage, but I used this applicator sponge and just wiped it all the way across the top. And it just added another little level of protection to the top of that dresser. So we're going to get started on the mirror and of course my friend decided that this is where she wanted to perch and come help <laughs> but uh, i wanted a different look for the mirror i didn't want to paint it just white so i'm starting with a base coat of fusion algonquin and it's kind of a dark taupey color i know this lighting is a little bit off but i'm painting on what i call just a messy coat i'm not even going for complete full coverage we're just kind of getting this algonquin on there Then once that base coat of Algonquin was dry, I decided to dry brush on a little bit of Fusion Champlain. This is a white. Now the key to dry brushing is you really want no paint on your brush. So you dab a little bit on the tips and then dab, dab, dab all that paint back off. And sometimes you still get a little too much, like right there, that's too much. So I wipe some of it off. But it's just a matter of adding a tiny little bit of color on top of that darker color and it, it's gonna give it almost kind of like this driftwood look. So I just worked my way around the mirror, dry brushing on a little bit more of that champagne until I got the look that I was going for. I wanted to glam it up just a little bit more, so I'm using a little bit of this gilding wax and we're rubbing it along just the raised edges. Now, I had a video fail here, you guys. I used this same gilding wax to update the hardware 
and I didn't take any video of it. I'm sorry, but that's the product that I use. I'll link it down in the video description. And I'm using it again here on this mirror. We're just kind of rubbing it along the carved uh, details right there. And then I took some clear fusion wax, just regular old wax. And that helped kind of clean up spots where maybe I got a little bit too much gold. So I would put the gold on and then take the clear wax and rub it back over the gold to just kind of blend it in. And it just adds a little bit of a subtle sheen to the mirror. And here it is back up. It turned out gorgeous. And I'll show you guys kind of what it looks like close up here in just a few minutes. But see, we're hanging it. I didn't put those little three drawers back up and I wanted the mirror to look different than the dresser. And that was definitely achieved. It's got a great kind of French chateau feel to it. Okay, so I'll show you where I stuck those little drawers. Now, don't judge how messy my closet is, but look, I just stuck them right back in here on this shelf that I have because I really do, I use these little drawers for stuff all the time. And so I didn't want to get rid of this part of the dresser, but I didn't want it on the dresser anymore. So it just fits on a shelf in my closet. Problem solved, worked out great. So here it is back in the room, and I think that you will agree with me that it looks so much better with our new bed. Even though I've been painting furniture now for over 10 years, sometimes I'm still just really amazed with what you can do with some paint. How you can take something and just give it a completely different feel. It almost is like it becomes a new piece of furniture by just changing the color. It changes the whole feel of the piece, the way it, it fits visually in the room, the weight of the piece. This is not a heavy dresser anymore. It is light and airy and elegant and I am just in love with the way that it turned out. All right, you guys, so I'm thrilled with how it turned out. I really, really am. So what's next for the bedroom? Well, um, we're kind of to the point where we're at the finishing touches. Now that I've got this dresser done and the mirror done, really the furniture is in place. And so it's time to start pulling in the last of those decorative touches. Now, I found a beautiful piece of art that is going over the bed. I'm not gonna show it to you in this video. I'll show it to you in a couple of weeks. And that is my inspiration for what I'm doing with all the rest of the pieces that we're gonna have in here. I'm really, really excited about it. I'm in the process of getting um, an accent pillow made. I've been on the hunt for a chair. We're gonna start hunting down some more lamps collecting some accessories. So we're gonna be finishing this space up and I'm excited to share the rest of it with you. If you liked today's video, then please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate that. So I hope y'all enjoyed this today. If you've got questions about painting a piece, let me know. Of course, you can always find the products that we're using over in my online shop. Those links are down in the video description. So awesome. I'll see you guys back again soon.